everyone! Today I'm here to do my most anticipated books of 2017. It's gonna be 2017 pretty soon and I cannot believe that. But here we are. We're gonna talk about the books of 2017. Now I just want to clarify a few things before I get into this. Number one, this list is like 15 books long, which is pretty long, but there are so many other amazing books that are coming out. I was trying to scour as much as I could, but there's only so much scouring I can do with my time. So I picked the ones that really appealed to me and I missed a lot of debuts and all that kind of thing. So just know that I know I'm missing out on a lot of amazing books. I apologize in advance before you comment and say, I can't believe you forgot this book. I can't either because I tried to do my research, but of course I always fail at that, but I tried the best I could. And with that, there are going to be a lot of sequels on this list. Usually when I think of most anticipated books of the next year, they're usually sequels for me. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's a lot of new books I pick up or a first book in a series I pick up during the year. But usually when I think about the books I'm excited for the next year, it's always sequels because I'm just dying to get that next book in my hands. So I just wanted to forewarn you that I have missed a lot, obviously, and a lot of these are going to be sequels. So let's just go into it. Like I said, there's 15 books long and I know I'll be missing a lot. So if you have any books that you are very highly anticipating and you cannot wait, please leave them in the comments below. Seriously, I would love your help and any recommendations would be amazing. I tried to do these as chronologically as I could. Of course, the dates are going to be a lot messed up, but I tried to go from January to the end. And I will say my list ends kind of around May. So I know there's a lot more books that are coming out. Usually I do a uh, most anticipated spring releases and a most anticipated fall releases. So just know this is a general list, you know, of books I'm excited for. And like I said, the last one I have is in May. So I know there's going to be a lot more amazing books that come out in the fall because that is a huge time for books. So just know I will do more videos in 2017 about which books I am very highly anticipated. Again, let's get right on into it. The first book I have is Wayfarer by Alexander Bracken. This comes out January 3rd. This is the second book in the Passenger series. First book, Passengers, came out this year and I read it and I liked it. I didn't love it, but I am anticipating the sequel. It's all about time traveling and it's got like a pirate ship in it. And it was good. I was expecting a lot more from it, but I still want to read the sequel because I do like Alexander Bracken's writing style and I feel like the second one might be a lot better because the first one she had to do a lot of world building Building, explaining about how her time travel works and various things like that. So she had to really, you know, make a foundation for that first book. So I'm hoping the second book's going to go right into the action and right into, you know, fast pace and awesomeness. So I am anticipating the second one and the cover. The cover is freaking beautiful. Like book covers nowadays are just so stunning. The next book is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth and this comes out January 17th. This one I'm hesitating whether or not to pick it up because lately I have been hearing not so amazing things about it. There have been a lot of problematic things I've been hearing about people of color being represented poorly in this and being represented not fair. So I am kind of worried going into this. I don't know if I will pick it up. I just wanted to put it on this list because I am anticipating it but with all these problems arising I'm hearing about this book I don't know if I want to support it it because of all of these problems. Does that make sense? And I don't know much about it if I'm honest with you. I just know it's a sci-fi. It's completely different from her dystopian series Divergent which used to be my alt one of my all-time favorite series but as time and time goes on I'm kind of losing my love for Divergent. I still always love Divergent but when I think about Insurgent and Allegiant I'm kind of like so that's why I'm very hesitant with Carl the Mark with that and with all the problematic things of it and how poorly it's being represented and the poor diversity. So yeah, I don't know about this one. The next book is Win Witch by Susan Denard and this comes out January 10th. This is the second book in the Truth Witch series or I think it's called the Witchland series. Truth Witch was the first book in a series that came out this year and I really enjoyed it. It's about these two characters named Safi Izzelt and they both are witches. One's a Truth Witch, one is a Thread Witch and they're different witches within this realm and how they have different powers but the amazing thing about this book is that there was like not a lot of romance. It was a little tiny bit but it was mainly about the friendship and sister bond between these two characters which is amazing which we don't get too much in YA because we get a lot of romance which I know I love my fair share of romance but I love reading an amazing sister friendship bond so and I really did enjoy the first one I didn't give it a full five out of five but I did like it a lot so I am anticipating Win Witch and I think this one follows Merit a lot I'm not too sure about it but I'm still really anticipating it. The next book is By Your Side by Casey West and this is a lovey-dovey contemporary book it reminds me a lot of Breakfast Club almost because I think this girl and boy get locked together in a library and Casey West writes those like cotton candy books as I like to call them like I could just eat them up in a day or two because they're just so fluffy and lovey and I like 
I do love my contemporaries. Do not get me wrong, I do love them. And I do like Casey West writing. So I had to put this in there because I am anticipating a cotton candy book in January. Um, the only new series I have on this list, I think, is called Spindlefire by Alexa Hiller. And this comes out April 11th. This is a fantasy, this is a fairy tale retelling, I believe. The Sleeping Beauty is like a darker thing. I've heard a lot about it on booktube, so I am anticipating it. I don't know too much about it. I like sometimes not knowing about books. I just kind of like going into the blind and this moment is that. I just know it's a Sleeping Beauty retelling and I'm really, I really do love fairy tale retelling, so I'm all in for it. I haven't read too many reviews about it, so I am interested in it. The next book is Always and Forever, Laura Jean. It was out April 4th, and this is by Jenny Han. This is the third and final book, I believe, in the P.S. I Love You series. Jenny Han uh, writes contemporary, and she writes contemporary well. She originally had P.S. I Love You as uh, two books. It was supposed to end there, but then she felt she had more story to tell with Laura Jean, so this one this is Always and Forever, Laura Jean, which I think this is going to be the third and final book. It's just a really cute contemporary book that you could just get swept up in and I really am anticipating it because I do like Jenny Han's writing style. I liked this series and I liked her The Summer I Turned Pretty series. I just like her writing style a lot. Another new series coming out is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adahi. I probably pronounced that wrong. I apologize. And that one comes out May 2nd. He also wrote The Wrath of the Dawn duology which is by far one of my favorite duologies I've ever read. That is a Thousand One Light. That is a Thousand One Arabian Nights retelling and I loved it so very much. This is people are calling it kind of like a Mulan retelling. Yes sign me up. I believe it's all about this girl who has to um, hide her uh, gender identity and she has to act like a boy to figure out things about her family, like go into this camp. I don't know, but it sounds amazing and I love her writing and I love the diversity she puts in her writing. So I cannot wait for this one. She writes such strong female characters and I love that. So I'm very highly anticipating this one. I don't know if it's going to be a duology or a series. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely going to read them. Then of course, we have Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare coming out May 23rd. This is the second book in the Dark Artifices series. The first one, Lady Midnight, just came out this year. It is hands down one of my favorite books of the year. I, I will say Lady Midnight is my favorite first book she's ever written. She has, this is her third series that I've written. I loved it because I think we knew the world so well. She just, you could just jump right on into it. And I thought that was amazing. And the that book left on a lot of cliffhangers, a lot of question marks, so I cannot wait to get to it. Speaking of books, we pretty much already know we're going to read it. Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. This is the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, and I'm not sure if this is the last one. I think it was supposed to be, but I think it's now six books. I don't know if this is going to be the last one in terms of following Feyre and Tamlin and Ryzan. I don't know. I think they might do a spinoff of other characters within this world. If you know, please let me know because I honestly don't know. I don't want it in if I'm honest with you keep it going forever I'll be happy but I don't know if this is the last book or technically the last book within their story and they're gonna expand it more I'm not sure but I love Court of Thorns and Roses I thought I loved that book and then I read Mist of Fury and I was like holy crap I really love this so I cannot wait to see what happens in this third one because it's gonna be probably amazing the next one I have is Save the Date by Morgan Matz and this comes out in May this comes out May 2nd again I feel like Sarah J Moss and Morgan Matz always like release books around the same time I struggle with um, deciding which one to pick up first because I love them both so much I don't know much about this one this doesn't even have a cover yet I think this is something to do with I don't, I don't even know, honestly. It's just this Morgan Matson, and Morgan Matson is the auto buy author for me. I love Morgan Matson. She's one of my favorite contemporary authors, hands down, and I know I could be in for an amazing self-discovery journey with romance and fluff and all that amazing thing, so I cannot wait. Save the date sounds like something to do with weddings, though, which I'm excited about because I'm a wedding photographer, so every time I read weddings, I'm like, yeah. Speaking of contemporaries, we have Once and For All by Sarah Dessen coming out in June. I, like I said, I love contemporaries, but Sarah Dessen is hands down my favorite contemporary author. I love Sarah Dessen. I have loved Sarah Dessen since I was 16. The love of Sarah Dessen for me is real. This one is all about wedding planning, I believe, about this girl that is a daughter of a wedding planner, so she's seen a lot. So she doesn't really believe in love and all that kind of thing. I don't know, but it's going to be amazing. Sarah Dessen writes, writes amazing self-discovery books and then you learn more about them and she has such amazing supporting characters in her book and the romance I just oh Sarah Dessen books those are my jam <laughs> <laughs> then we have Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab coming out June 13th. This is the second book in the Savage Song series. I think it's, no, I think it's a duology. Yes, it's a duology. So this is the second and last book in the duology. And I don't know if it's even the right name for the duology. 
I don't know. I read the Savage Song this past year and I did really like it. I didn't love as much as I did, but I do like this series because there is like no romance in it, which again, you don't get a lot in YA. And it is refreshing to read that now and again. This is all about a book about monsters versus humans and the monster wants to become a human and he wants to become a monster. It is really good. I do like Victoria Schwab's writing style a lot. So I am anticipating this one and duologies are a new thing now. And I really love it because it's like two books and you're done. The next book is Because You Love to Hate Me and that comes out on July 11th. It's a villain anthology and this is written by a whole bunch of authors and by a whole bunch of awesome booktubers. So basically an author was paired up for a booktuber and the booktuber picked the villain and the author has to write a, sto a short story about the villain and it sounds so amazing and I just can't wait to read it to support all my friends in this amazing book and it just sounds awesome and I'm just so excited for everyone that's involved because it is an amazing opportunity and I can't wait to hold it in my hands and see their names like on a book like it'll just it just sounds amazing and I'm so happy and thrilled that this is happening for them and I just can't wait to read it honestly. I have one book on here that I don't know the date for and that's One Dark Crown by Kendar Blake. This is the second book in the Three Dark Crowns duology. I think it's a duology. I don't know when this is coming out. Maybe it's already been decided and I just haven't researched it. Three Dark Crowns is a new um, series this year or a new duology and I love the first book. I thought it was awesome. It's about these three triplet sisters who have to grow up pretty much and they do kill each other when they're 16 and whoever's left standing is the queen. The world building in that first book was amazing. Characters were amazing. Overall it's just a very dark, deep gritty book and I loved it and I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the second one. I think the author, I did an interview with the author and she said like this is going to be the last book in the duology but she's thinking about writing more within this world which I am all for because it is an amazing world. I highly recommend it because I just I can't wait for this one. Like who's gonna get the crown? Another book that is TBD that we don't know, excuse me I have to look at my thing, it's The Gatlin School for Vigilantes by Marissa Meyer and I don't even know anything more about it because it's by Marissa Meyer. I love Marissa Meyer. This has been like I said it's all about vigilantes I think they're in the city there are two schools and one's for like the superheroes and then one's for kind of like the sidekicks and we follow a person that is in the sidekick school but she may be in the superhero school I believe I could be a hundred percent wrong but I don't know it sounds amazing about vigilantes and superheroes and sidekicks and yes just yes Marissa Meyer is amazing this has no cover this has no date release so I don't know I hope it's coming out next year but I cannot wait to read it and and the last book I have on here is the sixth and final book in the Throne of Glass series. We do not know the name, we do not know the date it's being released. I'm going to guess sometime in September though because that's usually when they are released. But either way, I cannot wait for it and I want to wait for it because it'll mean the end of one of my favorite series ever. So. Oh, sadness. So much sadness. So much sadness, but I cannot wait for so it. So that was all my most anticipated reads of 2017. Like I said, I know, I know, underline, underline, underline. I forgot so many amazing books. So if you could help me out and let me know some books that you were anticipating next year, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to know. And, you know, like I said, I'm sorry I forgot, but I tried to do the best I could, but sometimes I just fail. But I hope this list maybe brought some new books to your attention. Maybe not. Maybe you've already heard of all these. I don't know, but like I said, I know I forgot a lot. I just keep saying that because I feel horrible about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, please leave me comments down below of books you know that are coming out next year that you are highly anticipating. Please, I would love to know any new books so I can go ahead and write them on my list. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.